DNA. So in this video, we're going to look at DNA replication. And so the first stage of DNA replication is when DNA helicase, an enzyme, unzips the double helix by breaking the hydrogen bonds between the uh, two anti-parallel complementary strands. So DNA helicase breaks these hydrogen bonds holding the two strands together. Um, so the two strands separate, as you can see here. And uh, the next part of DNA replication is when the new nucleotide base pairs randomly collide with the unpaired bases. So if you see here, here are some nucleotides and they randomly collide with these unpaired bases. And when they um, find their complementary bases, they form new hydrogen bonds. Uh, for example, A and T here. But it's very important to remember that this is not enzyme catalyzed. Uh, it's completely spontaneous. It only depends on the collisions uh, with the base pairs. Uh, there is no enzyme that makes this happen. It happens naturally, spontaneously because of collisions. Uh, stage three of DNA replication. Uh, the enzyme DNA polymerase forms phosphodiester bonds between adjacent nucleotides. So in the previous stage, these nucleotides attached onto the um, unpaired bases, but they were not actually bonded to each other. So this DNA polymerase um, forms these phosphodiester bonds between the adjacent nucleotides to form the complete strand of DNA. But it's important to remember that DNA polymerase only runs 5' prime to 3'. Prime. And so DNA polymerase is also very important in proofreading the DNA. So when errors occur in DNA, errors in the bases uh, in the DNA replication, so the wrong um, base pairs with the wrong one on the original strand, so they're not actually complementary. This distorts the DNA. It has an uneven width. And DNA polymerase um, notices this and it breaks the bonds around this error. Um, and it waits for the right base to attach to the uh, base uh, so that it doesn't have the error. So that's very important in uh, eukaryotic DNA. This ability to be able to recognize an error in the DNA, break the bonds around it so that the correct base can insert itself. And then after this, the DNA polymerase continues down the strand. And this is very important with mutations. Uh, the mutation rate in eukaryotes is around 10 to the minus 9 and the mutation rate in prokaryotes is 10 to the minus 4 and there is such a big difference in this because um, prokaryotes have a lack of DNA polymerase they don't have it they don't have DNA polymerase as a proof reader so um, eukaryotes have a much lower mutation rate which enables us to be uh, more complex and have more stable DNAs and genetic material in general.